All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this was sent into the channel for a review. Uh, it is a, a, a power bank, power station, whatever you want to call these things. It's got a big battery in it and a bunch of charging modes. It's got AC inverters. It's got all the bells and whistles that you want. Um, it's a small unit. Um, and uh, this is from All Powers. Uh, this is the uh, model R600. And let's read some specifications for it. Um, it uses a lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, it's got all kinds of over protection circuit circuit. It's really well protected for uh, doing anything crazy with it. Um, let's see here. So first of all, you can charge it several ways. Uh, on the side is the charging port. So you can charge it with your normal AC line. Uh, I don't think you can see that on camera. Um, so you can charge it with an AC power cord. Uh, there's a breaker switch and you can also charge it with DC. Uh, anywhere from six, uh, 12 volts to 60 volts, up to 8.8 .8 amps. So you can charge it with a solar panel or you could charge it with a car battery, um, anything like that. So uh, the unit did come with a solar, uh, 100 watt solar panel. I'll show that later, we'll show it charging. Uh, so let's talk about the outputs. All right, so the outputs, first of all, there's two uh, 110 outlets on the front. All right, and they are switched here. Uh, those are good to uh, 600 watts. Um, it's got some DC connections, uh, USB-C, the high powered version, and then uh, USB-A um, for all those adapters and stuff you've got. It's got a uh, uh, 12 volt connector here for 12 volts at 10 amps. So you could maybe hook up your uh, ham radio here if you wanted to use this for a portable situation. Um, and uh, let's see here, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see, I think I have to hold it down a little longer. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it's got a real nice display on the front. Uh, since it's 98% charged, uh, it'll give you uh, a watt in input. So if you have it hooked up to a uh, solar panel, it'll show you how many watts are coming into the device. If you have something connected, it'll show you how many watts you have going out of the device. Um, and I'll show you some of that. It's got a little funny little LED on the front here. So I guess you're in the dark, right? Uh, be great here in California for earthquake preparedness, or if you're somewhere else in the country, you've got all kinds of <laughs> natural disasters you're worried about losing power. This would be a nice little unit. Um, let's see here, nothing on the side, nothing on the back. Um, so it's got a nice handle on the top, but it also has a, a, a hidden feature on the top. Uh, it's got a, uh, a, a, a cell phone charger. Okay. So that's pretty cool. You can uh, do the wireless, wireless charging here. Uh, let me turn it on and it'll, it'll recognize it and then it will start charging start charging a phone and there you can see that we're, uh, uh, my phone's already charged. So it, it flickered there, but it'll be like three Watts charging if it's, uh, if it, uh, if it needs it. Uh, but my battery's already charged from last night, but that's a cool, that's a really cool feature. I really, I really like that. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and show you it doing something. Um, I think, uh, what I want to do for this review video is there's all kinds of uh, use cases for how many watt hours do you get, how much battery life. It's got a whole bunch of modes built in for uh, economy and and then you know quick charge. It's got all kinds of features features like that. And um, there's a really really good video that a guy did online. I'll put a link down below. It's a half hour video where he just goes through this whole thing in detail. He does a really really job, good job of that. So, um, so go watch that video if you're really interested in in all of the modes and stuff. I'll show a couple here, and I will also show the um, uh, quality of the uh, of the uh, AC uh, waveform. Uh, coming out of this thing. You know that some of these uh, uh, AC converters can be kind of a stair-step type thing. Uh, this one is not. This one is a pure, pure sine wave. We'll take a look at that. It's really, really nice. Um, but uh, let's just go ahead and hook something up just for fun and I'll show you how it works.
All right, let's say I'm out in the field and I want to, <laughs> I think this came with a battery option, mine doesn't have it, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and plug it into the, uh, into the device here. I uh, will turn on the AC power, it says 60 hertz, uh, and then we'll go ahead and turn on the, uh, on the machine here, and it's going to make tones at me. Um, and it says it's drawing about uh, 20, 20 watts, uh, something like that, so there you go. Um, anyway, you get the idea. So let's go ahead and monitor the, while we have this up and running, let's go ahead and monitor on this side and uh, show you the waveform on an oscilloscope. I'll plug this in. What I've just plugged in is a, uh, a resistor. This is about a, about a two watt load uh, onto this port. So um, we will get out an oscilloscope here in a second. All right, I've got my load in here, and here's our here's our nice waveform, and I think you can see. Turn down the turn the camera down a bit. Um, it's a beautiful waveform. It has just a tiny, tiny bit of crossover distortion at zero, but otherwise it looks it looks super, super nice. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I think that's a winner. So, uh, pure pure nice sine wave out of the thing, even under load. Uh, so I think that's a complete pass there. Okay, let's say I'm in a deserted island, but I have my, uh, my power bank with me, and, but I need to do some surface mount work, <laughs> okay? Uh, lucky for me, I, I, I brought my portable hot plate, okay? So we'll put the hot plate up there, and we'll ch plug it onto the uh, uh, USB-C, and there you see we've got, uh, we've got our hot plate up and running. And uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, and we can look down here and you can see that we're getting uh, 66, 64 watts out of the USB-C. Um, and up here we're getting 20.1 volts. So this thing is supplying uh, 20, 20 volts at uh, about 60 watts. Uh, so as this thing warms up, the, uh, the wattage goes down. Um, it was maximum watts when it was cold and you can see it, you can see it falling here. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know why you want to do this, but it does, I, it's, the demonstration is that you can't get a lot of power out of the, uh, the USB-C connectors here. So let me turn these off. All right. All right. I think what we should do is uh, show you the, um, uh, solar panel that came with this thing, and we'll uh, take a look at that. Okay, I'm going to be uh, doing this with my uh, my iPhone here, so sorry if the camera work isn't the greatest, but here is the uh, solar panel that comes with the unit. So uh, let me, uh, there is a uh, uh, Velcro thing here that flips open, and then the uh, uh, solar panel, solar panel flips down so you get both sides of it. So let's, uh, Let's take a look at how you hook it up. Okay, on the back here is a little zippered, uh, zippered section here. Let's open that up. And uh, we get uh, some adapters and stuff to hook up DC type of things. And then we get the, we get the cord and the cord has the solar connectors on it. And then it comes with this cable this cable has the connector that will go into the unit, so let's get it hooked up. Uh, right now there's a whole bunch of cloud cover, and so I am getting 32 watts out of the uh, solar panel. Uh, yesterday when I first got this thing, I took it outside, it was a sunny day, and I was getting about 77 watts then. Um, and so I imagine if you have better conditions, you will have more watts and worse conditions you will have less watts so anyway it is uh, uh plugged into the uh, side of the machine there and the solar uh, panel has built-in uh, legs so it sits at an angle so it aims it up it aims it up at the sun and uh, you are ready to go it also gives you a countdown of how long it will take to get fully charged at this level. And it's down there at the bottom, so about 13 minutes to, uh, to get it all of the way. 
And yesterday, I, uh, when, it, when I received it, it was about 70% full. I got to 100% full in no time at all, uh, maybe an hour or something like that. So yeah, it did pretty good. So I couldn't quite figure out how to take it apart easily. Um, so I didn't want to damage it or get near a battery where I could start a fire. Uh, but I did uh, take one of the panels off and I could kind of peek inside just to take a look at the uh, construction technique and parts. Looks, uh, looks pretty nice. There's a big heat sink in there with a whole bunch of uh, probably FETs to do the sine wave conversion and stuff or power charging stuff. Uh, there is a fan that uh, is temperature regulated. Um, there's a couple sections in the mechanical construction of the box where certain things are on the bottom, the batteries are completely separate, and then the kind of the main circuitry, and then on the top is the uh, drop-on charger type of thing. So it looks pretty good inside. All right, well, that was my review of the All Powers Model R600 and associated uh, solar panel. Um, yeah, it seems really nice. Um, they do offer larger sizes if you need that. Uh, they seem like they have a complete line. So um, there you go.